Today we're going to look at example 12, spinning a motor. For this example, we're going to have to use the following various parts. First, you're going to have to have a transistor. Note that there's a flat side of the transistor. Do not confuse this with your temperature sensor and look at the flat side and if it says 2, 2, 2, A, that is your transistor. You also need one diode. The diodes look very similar to your resistors but are slightly different. They have a glass-like film around them and they come in two connected. This is the motor we're going to be using today. These two wires are going to be your positive and negative, and this is the part that we're going to be spinning. You need six wires, preferably of different colors, but again, it doesn't matter. And you're going to need one 330 ohm resistor that is orange, orange, brown, and gold striped. On page 66 of your SIK guide, you will find the diagram of the setup and then a step-by-step -step instruction on how to attach each part. We're going to go right in order from transistor to diode all the way down to your last wire. To start, take your transistor, make sure that the flat face with the 222A written on it goes outward away from your Arduino and put each pin of the three pins in A1, A2, and A3. For the diode, you're going to bend it just like your resistor and you're going to put it at B7 and B11. Make sure that you have them in the right places or your circuit will not work. You may have to wiggle and push down to get it to go in just like your resistors. Next, you're going to take your DC motor and the red wire is going to go into E7 and your black wire is going to go into E11. This is important because one is the positive while the other is the negative. You may have to wiggle it a little, little just like all of your other things. Make sure that when you attach everything, that it, everything is in the correct pin and port. Make sure that you are in cell 9, not pin 8, and make sure you're in 5 volts and ground and not any of the other pins on this side. Also make sure that you have the correct resistor and it's plugged into E and G, both of which are 2. Make sure you have both types of power supply, both your 5 volt and ground plugged into your positive and negative, and make sure you have the correct positioning for your motor. So how does it work? The power comes from the 5 volts from your Arduino. It goes up, through, 
directly into your motor. Your motor will start to spin, goes down through the transistor and back into the board from your ground. The transistor acts as a switch. When it is closed, the circuit is closed and the power can run through the motor. We control whether the transistor is open or closed from our software. When the transistor is open, the motor stops spinning and the power gets redirected through the diode back into the board. Once you have everything set up correctly in your hardware portion, you can then connect your Arduino to your computer. You should then open circuit 12 in your Arduino program and this is what it looks like. The most important part is the beginning which sets pin 9 to your output pin. Next, in order to get your program running, you have to choose one of the three programs in this example. If we look at the main loop, you can see that there are three programs that are commented out. The three different programs allow you to turn the motor on and off, use two different speeds with your motor, or accelerate and decelerate the motor. The simplest of the three programs is the motor on then off program, which sets a time for on and sets a time for off for turning the motor to run on and then turning the pin low for off. After you've uncommented the motor on then off program, and you compile your code, you should then upload it and see the motor spin.